guys, today I'm going to be telling you the basic guide of how to look after a leopard gecko. The first thing you need is a suitable tank. I have a three foot vivid exotic wooden vivarium. This works perfectly for my little gecko. For a baby gecko, preferably a fanarium or a two foot vivarium, but my gecko lived in a fanarium for six months. So I moved her into this big vivarium and she seems to be doing fine. The next thing you need is suitable hides. Here I have a cave hide by Exum Terror. That's a favourite hide by the way. This is a log hide from my local pet store. That is a Shedding hide by Exoterra and it's got sphagnum moss in it and it's wet sphagnum moss. Always make sure it's wet or damp. I also have custom hides, just made out of sterilised rocks. And that's it for like hides and stuff. The next thing you need is a suitable substrate. I use Eco Earth. This is just really dry Eco Earth. But you can use loose, um, you can use non-loose up substrates like lino or tissue paper or newspaper. Never ever ever use calcium sand, normal sand, or wood chippings. Here we have a little calcium pot. This has just got a thin, thin layer of calcium in, in case she ever wants a lick. We have a Exoterra water dish. It's just a normal water dish, nothing special about it. Here I have a UVB light. I use this instead of supplying vitamin D3 as a vitamin. Because I just think it's more natural. And I just think it's better than using supplements. And here's my little gecko just walking out of her hide. <laughs> Say hi gorgeous. Good girl. <laughs> Up here I have a U a infrared light. It's I know you should not use infrared lights. She should Why are you looking at? I know you shouldn't use infrared lights, but I use it in the day with my UVB just to prevent more heat in the winter. I also have a thermometer to read the whole temperature of the tank. Like so. <laughs> You also need a heat mat. I have a 6 by 11 inch by 11 centimeters heat mat and a therm thermometer to read the temperature of the heat mat and a thermostat. A thermostat to read to set the temperature of the heat mat. For decoration I use fake plants, this log, some rocks, some other rats. Oh, she's going. Bye bye, baby. Have a nice day. <laughs> so, rocks, yeah, rocks. Just sterilize rocks. You can get them from garden centers, but always remember to sterilize them with reptile friendly products. When it comes to food, I feed mealworms, crickets, and locusts, and sometimes the occasional waxworm. When feeding your crickets or whatever you feed your gecko, Always remember to dust them in the correct supplements. On Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, I dust the crickets in Komodo Calcium Dusting Powder. This works perfectly. And at the weekends, I use Nutribol Vitamin and Mineral Powder. This works perfectly as well. It's so, so, so important to feed your gecko the correct supplements. And I will tell you why in another video, because it can lead to many, many severe illnesses. Always remember to put fresh food in your crickets, mealworms, tanks, so they can be gut loaded. I put scraps of vegetables and fruit in both tanks. They need their food done because it's gone a bit mouldy and they've eaten all theirs. So that's that. This is the disinfectant I use. It's called Deep Clean. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> but it's perfect for reptiles when you're cleaning out vivariums. 
So thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe and come back for more videos every Saturday and Sunday. Tune in next time to find out more about your little gecko. Bye.